Hey everybody, so about three weeks ago I made a video on this, the panel clip. So this was a add-on accessory from Insta360, their Chinese brand that makes uh, VR cameras. This is an add-on to the iPhone 10 or iPhone 8 that once you put it on, it will use the iPhone front and back camera to, t to take two photos and then the software, panel clip software will stitch them together to create one 360 degree photo. So all you do is put this thing on and then you go into the app and then from here you can hit the shoot button and it will produce a 360 degree photo. Something like this. So now while the panel clip is, it's pretty fun, pretty easy to use. One issue is you have to shoot using the iPhone's front and back camera. And you know, um, the iPhone, just like virtually every other phone, has a much better back camera than the front camera. But then if you take a photo of the back and the front and you stitch them together, that means half the 360 degree photos will be in higher quality, higher resolution, right? So what Panel Clip has to do is lower the resolution of the side of the picture taken from the back camera to match the selfie camera. So that's why photo quality isn't the best because um, you have to compensate for the selfie camera and that's an issue with the panel clip. So now there is another company with a better solution. It's a little bit more complicated, but it's a better solution. So right here, this is the VR kit. I mean, it's several pieces of equipment just like this. So um, it looks complicated, but putting it together, it's very easy. So let me show you right now. So this is the, the rotator and it comes with a tripod. So this tripod is a little bit flimsy, so I'm, I'm gonna use my own tripod later. But you have to screw on this. So this is gonna grip the phone. And you have right here, this is a fisheye lens. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this over any phone that you wanna shoot the 360 photo with. So in this case, I'm gonna use the OnePlus 6. So you're gonna have to put this fisheye lens on carefully and make sure it, it matches. So you wanna look at the viewfinder and then make sure you get it exactly so like like this so you see a a perfect circle and then after that you just have to put the phone onto the clamp after that you have to go into the vr kits app which is available on the google play store and then once you do that you just have to put the phone onto the clamp like so and then turn on the rotator so you this is charged via micro usb and then it'll connect automatically to the app via bluetooth and after that, all you do is tap on the screen and it'll start rotating like this. And as it's rotating, it is taking an image all around the scene and it will stitch them together for one 360 degree photos. So you see it's uh, it's rotating pretty smoothly. Apologies for the messy desk. My, my girlfriend went traveling, so her suitcase is all over the floor. Um, there's like shit all over the table. So this is obviously gonna take a bit longer than a panel clip because a panel clip takes both images at once and it takes about 10, like eight seconds to stitch. Whereas this, you have to wait for the entire phone to rotate one round 360 degrees. After that, you're done. You have a 360 degree image. So I actually took this outside earlier and shot a 360 photos outside. And as you can see, because this, the VR clip uses the OnePlus 6's main camera, photo quality, it's very high res. I don't know why my face is doing that expression, but this is a, a very high res photo compared to the panel clip, which has to match the iPhone X selfie camera. So right now the VR kits app is still kind of a little bit buggy, but um, it's definitely usable. So this is another image I took at the park. So the one downside of using the VR clip is because you have to wait for the phone to spin around 360 degrees. So that means you need everything in the scene to stay still. If there are a lot of fast moving cars, for example, then um, the picture might come out a little bit blurry. If a lot of people walk by, then you might get something like when you take a panorama photo and someone walks in front of it, like they end up very distorted, right? So I foresee this to be a problem. But the VR kit is awesome because it will let you use any phone and turn it into a 360 degree photo. And if you have a phone with a really good low light camera, uh, OnePlus 6 is okay. But if I use a Samsung Galaxy S9 or a Huawei P20 Pro, those phones are awesome at night. Then I can shoot 360 degree photos at night and still have the photo come up pretty nice instead of the panel clip, which obviously takes a big hit in quality when you go, um, See right here, you see because I moved, so 
that's a kind of like a it's like Doctor Strange where um you know the, the spiritual form can leave the body so that's basically what happened to me right here anyway so this is the VR kit I have right here the pro kit I believe it also comes with this so this really awesome VR lens so that you can put your phone in there and then you can watch what you just shot in 360 degrees so I think you have to switch you probably have to download another app though so you put your phone in like that and then you just put it over your head and you watch so that's the VR kit if you go on the company's website you see that the rotator kit sells for 60 bucks while the fisheye lens sells for $40 so um, if you get the whole pro kit though that's everything that's the glasses the tripod leg the camera clip and also the rotator for a hundred bucks so i know it's a little bit gimmicky but if you really want to shoot 360 degree photos without splurging on a really expensive camera this is a good kind of second option you can just turn your phone which everyone has a phone already into a 360 camera all you have to do is invest a hundred bucks so the rotator is very well built and there are these buttons here that you can turn on or off and i think you can control manually in addition to the app the app still needs a little bit of work though so that's it for now Thank you for watching. Apologies for the messy ass house.